let's get into it. So when Dorf Lab sent me this telescope, I wasn't expecting a lot, to be very honest with you. Um, as smart telescopes are a thing that are coming very strong from, from um, in the last two, three years, uh, they've been pushed on the market and I'm, I was kind of uh, suspicious and um, I usually don't trust uh, technology that much, uh, the new technology that is. Uh, but it seems that I was wrong because this little telescope, it's actually an amazing piece of equipment. I was able to test it, uh, get an image, which I will show you at the end of this video. And basically you can set it up very easily. As you can see, I have a tripod. Uh, you need a tripod for this. So when the telescope comes, you just get the top part, the telescope itself. Uh, you need a tripod to put it on. You need to get your right uh, coordinates to see exactly in New York, uh, it's 40 something degrees, right? You take this, you put it on the roof and contrary to a regular telescope, you have to point it against north. So to make sense, let's say the face is north, you have to point it like this and then you start the telescope with this little button over here on the side. You see the green lights, green light comes on and then you connect your telephone to the, to the app. Sorry about this with the light moving around. And then you take your phone and you connect it to the telescope. And what the telescope does, it calibrates itself. Um, which is a crazy thing because in astrophotography, setting up all this stuff takes a, a long time. Sometimes you get a lot of errors because of it, but with this little guy, it takes images or it opens up over here in top. It takes images of the sky and he can tell you how much you need to adjust three, four degrees clockwise or up and down. You adjust that then you focus the telescope, then you send it on a target and you start shooting. It's that easy with this little guy. Now, the image that I got, it's about three or four hours. It's very good. Um, I'll, I'll show you a little bit later how it looks like. And um, I'll get more images and I will have an in-depth review for this uh, telescope. I'll show you exactly how to set it up on the roof and I'll show you what the app does and um, yeah well uh, this is just the initial thoughts right now and I hope uh, I hope you find this useful okay and the first image that we have over here is the North American Nebula and this is the stack that came out from the dwarf uh, lab this is not processed by it um, it just came out the way it is and you can see it um, you see a little bit of gradient you see a little bit of noise and I want to mention that this is basically about three hours at the most um, it's not um, I, the, the next image that I have it does have about six five and a half six hours I believe and it's these are 30 seconds uh, exposure time I can put it up to two minutes, but I wanted to do 30 seconds because I wanted to make sure that everything works fine, the tracking. Uh, the stars are beautiful and round, as you can see. Um, almost perfect, I would say, really. And even if you go into the corners, it's a little bit of drag over here, if you look very, very closely. Um, I am not really, I usually don't care that much about this, but um it it does show you oh and this side a little bit as well in the corner if you look if you go all the way up it shows a little bit of um oval shape i'm not sure what exactly that is um when i did uh, set it up you do have the option to pinpoint set it up as in you do like the initial calibration and it tells you to go a little bit further and that means to twitch it and tweak it a little bit 
but as I said, I wanted to put it out there, let it go, see what's happening. This is what I got. Um, and then, of course, I need to do a stack in the software in the application to see exactly how it works. Uh, for the next image, and this is the image that I process myself. Um, and it's basically, as I said, it's about five hours and a half. And what I can tell you about this image is like, again, I am very much blown away. The amount of data that is here, it's very little. Um, you need probably, I would say 15, 20 hours, especially if you do have a color sensor and you do have the filters that this, this uh, little guy has. Um, it's, I think it's a HA and oxygen and a light pollution, right? Those uh, act like light pollution filters. Uh, but again, look at this image. <laughs> it just, I think it took me five months to actually get to have an image like that. And this happened in just two nights, like about, as I said, five hours and a half, six hours of data. And this can be improved upon greatly. And checking the corners again here, it looks a little bit better. I think the second I probably I calibrated better. So the data, the data looks great. Again, like you can see round stars all the way in the corner. And it's, um, it's, been, a, it's been a tremendous um, success from my point of view. And again, the ease of use, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, so if you do like to purchase this telescope, I think it's out of stock in most of the stores, but they are coming back in August. Um, I do have a code over here in the bottom. You can check it out. Uh, you can use that code to get a discount if you de decide to get this uh, this telescope and it's going to help my channel it's going to help you obviously get a discount and as i said i will have in hopefully if the weather is good i will have a review comprehensive review very soon with more details uh, about the sensor size about the exact filters that that are used in here and i'll show you exactly how to calibrate it and you know just have fun with it and <clears throat> as i said it's um it's amazing how the technology evolves and um as an astrophotographer a photographer i'm very happy uh that that the technology help uh, more people to come into this uh, amazing hobby in my opinion i think it's it's fantastic and uh yeah, I'm, um, th those are my initial thoughts and um, I thank you very much for sticking around and I will see you next time. Please guys.